Hey everyone, Joe here. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. You know, I almost forgot how to do my opening. My, you know, hey, Joe here. Uh, I've been watching so much Liz with Hi Friends and Arlen with Thanks for Dropping By to see what in the world I'm up to. Or uh, Tony at La Lita Vo Loca, the cruise channel. Hey, hey, I almost started my, my video like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm um, glad you came back. Um, actually, I haven't been on for a little bit over a week. My phone uh, was a disaster. I couldn't video anything. And um, I've been working on this, that little area. I don't know if you put my last video outside. I'm working on the area right in front of the shed. And I wanted to reimagine that area. And unfortunately, I was out for a run last week and I went into kind of like a depression in the ground and I twisted my leg really bad so it was kind of slow going I kept on moving you know I'm not gonna stop but uh, you know it was a little bit slow going so I'm gonna show you today what I did in this little area here and um, just to give you an update here in uh, northern New Jersey, the weather has been absolutely insane. We've been up and down. For example, today, I have a flannel shirt on, but because it was a little bit cool this morning, but we're going up to 73 degrees today, and then down in the 40s tonight, and tomorrow, high 64, and the low is 33. And then on Thursday, it's only gonna be 50 degrees and 39 at night. So I have some plants that I winterized in the shop, you know, where it's warm in there. And I was going to take some of those out today, but I'm not going to because I, you know, waited all winter long and I'm not going to take them out to have them, you know, uh, ha have frost on them because they say 33, but that's usually the weather for New York City. So, um, you know, it could be 30 here. So I, I might as well just wait. So. I'll just show you what I what I did uh, quickly and uh, I'll see you again at the end of the video. Hold on. Okay, so today I'm going to start on this little section right here uh, that I have in the yard here. And it's a big mess right now. Uh, you can see I lined up my solo lights here to see which ones worked. And eight of them do work. And these two over here are garbage. Um, I had to move these uh, potted plants around. I have to get rid of these right now. And um, as you can see, I have these stones and uh, they're great around the pool because uh, they cause less, uh, you know, cuttings and stuff going into the pool. Even though I do have a lot of plants, but when I had grass back here, it was worse for the pool. So um, I went to look for these stones again. I went for, to a few different places and also the place where I bought them and um, they don't have them. Uh, they have something like them, but they don't have these. And, uh, you know, it, it's crazy to, you know, fill in over here if it's going to look so different. So I'm going to make it look actually different itself. The only thing I can think, I do have to fill in a few spots uh, with stone. So if I buy these brown ones, I can buy them by the bag actually in Home Depot and the lighter ones also in a bag. And I can mix them together and make my own mixture just to fill in some of the spots that are uh, a little bit bare. So the first thing I have to do right here is clean all of this out. I'm going to take all of this mulch away and then I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to do. I have about 10 different drawings. Um, I hate them all. Uh, but we'll see because I can't stand what I have right now. So let's see where I go from this. Uh, next thing you'll see is when this is all cleared away. All right, so oh. here we're, here's where I'm at right now. I moved most of the mulch out of the area and I put it onto the patio. And um, I moved over some of my uh, paving blocks that I had in another area of the yard that I'm also redoing. So I brought those over here uh, for the entrance into the shed. Um, and now I'm going to start moving some plants around here uh, that I'll let you know. I'm, I'm kind of winging it. Okay, so it looks like a big mess right now. But anyway, I used some paving stones that I had and I made that little circle area right there and I had that table. So I buried that partially down in there and I put that pot with the um, little pixie on it there and I'm gonna put some something in there. I used to have succulents in there. They, they're gone now, but I'm gonna put those back in because I like the way they hang out of there. And I put some hostas, uh, you know, inside there around there because that'll get nice and full and fill that all in. And I put a tiger lily 
uh, right next to it on the outside. Now this area I'm going to put a lot of perennials in, I believe. Um, this way, you know, it'll have more of a, um, I, I don't know, not, not a wild look, but more uh, not so, that I don't have to get in here and trim so much. That's the basis of the whole thing. Then down over here, I put um, a bunch of lilies and they will grow and spread and, you know, I can always thin them out and uh, move them like, you know, like I did those. Then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight a lot of this with white stone, but I have uh, this whole area still right here, which I'm going to put hostas and I think some more of those taiga lilies in there. So I'm going to be working on that, but it's been a while already and I'm getting kind of pooped. So I might take a break and pick it up Okay, tomorrow. so I think in the last clip, I'm not even sure, I put these lilies in here. If that's a repeat, I'm sorry. And uh, now what I did was I moved over, I got some hostas that I had around in other places that I'm fixing, and I put them in kind of like this staggered pattern, but around the edge of the patio right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the hostas that I put in, and they'll fill in really nicely. Then what I did was I had some sedum in a pot, and sedum is a succulent, and that's it right there. It grows, uh, it has like a rubbery leaf, and in the in August and in September, it'll have these purple, like a pinkish purple fuzzy flower on it. So again, I broke that up, and I put in one, two, three, four of those, and those should get nice and bushy. Then what I did was I put some tiger lilies that I had in another spot, because they spread, so I kind of uh, separated those. I put one back there, one there. There's one that's not in the dirt by that rock, because that has to move. And then I put another three in this area right here. So I just have to flatten out this dirt a little bit here, and then I'm going to start adding in my uh, decorative stone. And I was going to move that patch right back there on the other side of those pavers. That that's for my tomato plants and I was going to move it but I decided I'm not I'm gonna keep that there uh, this year for my tomato plants again I'm just gonna keep them a little bit more tame last year the tomato plants grew about seven feet tall it was kind of like ridiculous but uh, all right so let me straighten out this okay so jerky. here so far is the final product of what I did here and again I've, d I've done this over so many days that I can't remember exactly what I said last but the rocks I wanted to get those brown rocks uh, and I went to the place I went to a few different places but I actually stopped in the place that was about 20 miles from here where I originally got them and they almost tripled the price and for this little area where you see the right white rocks they wanted almost five hundred dollars worth of rocks they told me it was five yards uh, which was absolutely ridiculous so I decided to give it a little bit more texture and a little bit more dimension I went with the white rock that offsets the brown rock I went to Home Depot I got bags this these this is 24 bags of white mini marble rocks and just so you know uh, a lot of the stuff at Home Depot, they sell at a bulk price cheaper than the regular price. So if I bought 12 and over, it was a dollar less a bag. So I saved a lot in buying those 24 bags. But yeah, that's unbelievable, right? That's, that's 24 bags of rocks right there. So anyway, so what you can see, what I did was I kind of cleaned up my little walkway in front of my really tiny area where I grow my tomato plants. I only put in six plants here, and that's all I'm putting in again this year. Um, it's just I have too many other things things to keep me occupied I you know I'm not a farmer uh, but we do like our fresh tomatoes so I did that little walkway in front and I added that little edging that I used to have on the edge of the patio I then split and moved in these hostas and over the past couple of days they have grown tremendously so I did them in a zigzag panel uh, um, not panel I can't think of the word I want uh, back and forth here you can see pattern pattern. I added in a couple of rocks. I'm going rock hunting. I'm not buying those big rocks. I'm going to go out on the road and I'm going to just, you know, dig up some rocks and bring some more home. These are actually uh, lilies. They have a beautiful orange flower. They're perennials. They come up every year. So I put those in there. 
that right there coming up there uh, are sedum and again I used to have so many of them and I don't know what happened a lot of them died off but um, I, I split what I had uh, and they'll grow they'll come back they'll, you know they'll look pretty good again I, here I put the pavers with more hostas and a few more lilies in the back over there then over here I did a few more rocks and these are purple irises and they're beautiful they are also perennials and they will spread and that's fine with me because I want that area to kind of fill up so you can see um, well, I don't know if you can see that but anyway I moved that euonymus from the side yard in my rock garden over to here I was gonna get rid of it so I figured let me bring it over here I tried it I, I put that in here and look how big these hostas are getting over the past few days and then just to tie in the white rock from the other side what I did was I kind of made these look like they're spilling out uh, from you know from those rocks over there I moved this euonymus from the side yard that azalea from the side yard as well this barbary it was over here and I moved it over there so um, you know and I've been giving it a, plenty of water and it's been cool and wet so hopefully it will be okay and again I added in a few more of the sedum right here this pot was on the front porch and it was white so I took it back here and I um, painted it almost the same color as the uh, angel there it'll patina and it'll get a little bit different uh, and then I'll show you how I'm going to landscape those and then on the other side of the walkway to the pool I did the same thing I put a few white rocks there and another one of these um, pots um, you know, I, it's windy so I'm sure it's going to be a lot of wind in this video and I'm really sorry for that uh, but um, I wanted to uh, share this with you so uh, that is my video for today uh, you can see right here I have another hosta that I took out of the ground I have to split this I'm gonna give a piece of it to my sister-in-law because she she wanted it um, and um, I guess that's it for today so I hope you enjoyed this little project and it seems like it was a real little project but wow it was a lot of work let me tell you those rocks are not fun to be moving around you know did I ever show you this? This is my wife's grandfather's wine press and i using it as a planter because we don't make our own wine anymore. Um, all right, everybody. So I hope you're doing well. <coughs> Excuse me. And hopefully since I got a new phone, I'll be seeing you a lot more often. All right. Take care. Don't forget, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Love hearing from you. And everybody stay well. Bye-bye.